together let us pray the third novena to our lady of sorrows in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen god come to my assistance lord make haste to help me glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen holy mother of god hear the prayers of the church for all mothers especially those wearied by life and overcome by suffering they bear for their children hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen o mother of the word incarnate intercede for them from your place in heaven that the mercy of your divine son might lighten their burden and give them strength hail mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O blessed virgin Mary mother of our redeemer Remember we are thy children given to thee by thy divine son when expiring on the cross mother of sorrows by the tears which flowed from thy eyes when saint john related how the traitor judas sold thy divine son for the wild price of 30 pieces of silver how in the garden of olives He was agonized with fear and sorrow the blood gushing through every pore by all the anguish that overwhelmed thy heart when thou didst hear that Jesus the only object of thy love was condemned to death by the sorrow that pierced thy maternal bosom in meeting thy only beloved son loaded with a heavy cross spent through loss of blood fatigue and pain by that heroic resignation to the divine will which triumphing over the sentiments of nature sustained thee at the foot of the cross by the excess of grief that would have robbed thee of life had not god preserved thee for the comfort of his disciples and of his infant church by the dolors that rent thy desolate heart when beholding thy beloved son most beautiful in his comeliness above the sons of men become a prey to death the ignominious death of the cross by all the sufferings of thy most afflicted heart obtain for us o mother of mercy true contrition for our sins preserving fervor in thy divine service and the particular favors we solicit in this novena o thou most tender and afflicted mother who did sacrifice thyself on the same altar with thy beloved son and whose heart was penetrated by the nails that fastened him to the cross as it was our sins inflicted those torments on thy divine son we acknowledge that we justly deserve the wrath of divine justice to fall on our devoted head but if those very sufferings have proved our defense and protection here to for grant that now at least we may participate profoundly in the sorrow of which we have been 
the unhappy cause and obtain that souls hitherto so insensible to the strongest proofs of love may by heartfelt contrition taste one drop of that bitter chalice of which thou did drink so deeply amen A reading from the gospel according to saint john chapter 19 verses 25 to 27 so the soldiers did this but standing by the cross of jesus were his mother and his mother's sister mary the wife of clopas and mary magdalene when jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near he said to his mother woman behold your son then he said to the disciple behold your mother and from that hour the disciple took her to his own home we pray for fathers at the birth of their child a man once said that at first he was petrified petrified that he would faint or get in the way or not know what to do to help his wife but then he prayed to mary he says praying to mary is something you think a mother would be doing but somehow he thought that mary understood saint joseph more than anyone else she probably saw the fear in his eyes and sensed the restlessness of his heart she probably spent a lot of time praying for him as well and when he prayed to mary for his child about to be born he knew that she understood and heard him and prayed for him to a son at first he was petrified and then he put everything into god's hands pray in honor of the third sorrow of mary the loss of the child jesus in the temple most sorrowful mother grief sorrow and anxiety filled your immaculate heart when you found you were separated from your son on leaving jerusalem for three days he remained lost to you and to your holy spouse for three days you sought him who was the light of your life and for three days you failed to find him let me join you in this pain o queen of martyrs and obtain for me the grace to never lose jesus through sin but to stay united to him by the help of his grace if i have the misfortune of falling may i never doubt his mercy and always return through the sacrament of confession which he instituted hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray to a sorrowful mother for a particular grace o mother most holy and sorrowful queen of martyrs you who stood by your son as he agonized on the cross by the sufferings of your life by that sword of pain that pierced your heart by a perfect joy in heaven look down on me kindly as i kneel before you sympathizing with your sorrows and offering you my petition with childlike trust dear mother since your son refuses you nothing ask of his sacred heart to mercifully grant what i ask through the merits of his sacred passion along with those of your sufferings at the foot of the cross 
Mother most merciful, to whom shall I go in my misery, if not to you, who pities us, poor sinful exiles, in this valley of tears? In our name, offer Jesus but one drop of his precious blood, but one pang of his loving heart. Remind him that you are our sweetness, our life and our hope, and your prayer will be heard. Amen. The Memorare Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer me. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.